Okay, the sword fingers are held like this. The thumb is touching those. That strengthens them, okay? They aren't ever used this way. They're used this way. The lineup is like that. And they're not really used mostly to strike anybody, although they can be done, that can be done to the eyes or the throat. They're used to like wake somebody up, to uh, put their mind someplace else. And mostly they're used to touch the other hand. If the hand is offered, they're used to touch the hand so that for a moment they control that hand. Okay? And then what the whole left arm is using, is doing here, is backing up the sword. The left hand, the left arm, or the, the yin to the yang of the sword. And whatever the sword does, it's backed up by the left hand. It makes a roundness to the body. Okay? And it, if whatever you do, the sword is there. The sword, and it doesn't hang down like this because that would bring the energy down in the wrong direction. It's always correctly aligned with the other arm. And it's always there so that if the other person does offer that hand, you can actually just turn your body and the hand will be there automatically. You won't have to reach for it. And when the, the blade moves, the blade always moves so that the edge is going in the same direction as the blade so that anything it comes in contact with will be cut. Every movement in the form, that has to be happening except for the thrusts and the pummel strikes. Every, every movement in the form, the blade should be moving so that the edge will cut if it comes in contact with anything. Every movement. Okay? So the fingers, the thumb is held on the fingers like that and they're held up. They're never held down like this, but they're held up. And the sword is always following, they're always following the sword around. Mm -hmm. Whatever the sword does, they back it up. And they, they're always ready to actually go out and touch or to touch the other person's hand. Ooh, like that.